Hey guys, it's Alice again. Welcome to yet another haul video. I have do it. I have done I have done a Primark haul. Now I used to do these pretty much every month and then I learned to control myself a little bit. But after seeing some of the summer stuff on their website, I had to go in and oh my god, let me tell you, they have so much good stuff in right now. So I spent quite a lot of money. In total it was £154 something. I actually have two videos for you. The next one is going to be a bikini haul. So make sure that you're subscribed and you have my notifications turned on because I'm going to be trying on and seeing what I think of Primark bikinis. So without further ado, we'll get into this clothing haul. I hope you enjoy it. Give it a thumbs up if you do. Let's get going. So the first thing is actually something I have on. I really, really like this colour. This is a size 12 lightweight t-shirt. I will show it in the cutaway. Wait, maybe I should move. There, cutaway. So this has like a nice kind of cross detail at the back and it's really lightweight. It's perfect length for me. I have a size 12 and it was three pounds. And you know what? I just couldn't say no to this. Even if this doesn't last that long, three pounds I thought was really really good for a nice t-shirt it feels really comfy it's really soft fits nice can't really ask for much more and the things I actually picked up to match this top are right here so these are black and white polka dot culottes and I have these kind of material culottes in like a really cool tropical print so I picked up these ones which I thought were really really nice you could either dress up or dress down them depending what mood you're in these are the most comfortable things you will ever try on, ever. I got a size 12 and these were 13 pounds. Definitely worth it. All I will say is that they are a tiny bit see-through, so you definitely need to wear some nude underwear. But other than that, love them a lot. Completely going to live in these, so you'll probably see these around a lot. They had so many different styles as well. Okay, so the next few things are quite similar. I have been on the hunt for a nice little white cami top, like a vest top, something nice, simple white. So I picked up like four different white tops. Now I definitely don't need four, but I'm gonna return the ones that I don't like. So this is the first one. This is in a size 14. Not quite sure why I picked up a 14. I feel like it's probably because they must not have been any 12s, but I do really like the style of this. It doesn't really have a hem, it's kind of, ribbed material really thin and soft so definitely need a nude colored bra on but yeah i thought it was quite nice it's quite cropped but not too short really cute i could probably tuck this into some like high-waisted trousers or just kind of let it let it free let it loose you know but yeah i really like this how much was it it was four pounds so oh i've just realized which one this is okay so this one i really really like and on the hanger, it said 12. Yet on the tag, it says 16. Um, I should have read it. I should know by now that Primark hangers aren't always right. Um, but yeah, this was the one item that I've picked up in the wrong size, which is so annoying. It was four pounds, but basically it's a little bandeau top. It's got elastic on the top with a little frill and then elastic on the bottom of each sleeve. And then on the bottom, see I tried this on, obviously it's too big, but what I really like about it is that you can kind of tuck the bottom elastic underneath, you'll see from the cutaway. So it looks more fitted and depending on what bottoms you're wearing, you could either tuck it in or just kind of like shove it up, like roll it up. But yeah, I really like this, so sad I bought the wrong size. It's in a nice soft t-shirt material and was a steal again, but I'm gonna have to return it because it's a size 16. Okay, is this the last white top? No, it's not. Two more. <laughs> I have a problem. So this is another little bandeau top. So it's like an off the shoulder, little frilly sleeved. It's a little bit different. The sleeves don't have elastic on. The only bit of elastic is in the top. So then the bottom just kind of flows around loosely. I don't know how I feel about this one. You're gonna have to let me know. I feel like this one makes me look a little bit bigger just because the bottom doesn't cinch in like the previous one, but I could solve that by tucking it into a pair of trousers. So I suppose it depends on how I style it. Maybe I should give it a go with a few other things, but I successfully got a size 12 this time and this one, again, was four pounds. They have so many gorgeous little basic tops in right now. I really had to resist the urge to buy more. I might as well go all out and show you them all. Is a bodysuit. Now I've never actually tried, I don't think so anyway, I've never tried a Primark bodysuit I am quite tall, I'm five foot eight, so sometimes bodysuits give me an ultimate wedgie and I can't wear them because they're so uncomfortable. So I thought, we'll give this a go. Again, size 12, this one's five pounds and it's just, 
you've guessed it, another off the shoulder top with a big frilly bit, which I really, really like. And then it just goes down nice and simple and it has poppers at the bottom so you can get in and out of it nice and easily. And do you know what? I didn't really have high hopes for this. This was a bit of one that I just kind of picked up. I thought I needed to look for a white top. I'll pick up another one, why not? Do you know what? I actually really, really like this. I feel like it could be quite awkward just because of the nature of an off the shoulder top, but it's so soft, it's so comfortable. Doesn't give me a wedgie at all. It was really, really easy to fasten. I think this is possibly my favorite bodysuit I've had because it's actually comfortable and it isn't a thong. Like, okay. And because I love culottes, as you guys know, I picked up another pair. Oh my God, this is like nearly the same color. Um, and these are like, I thought they were orange. Turns out they're kind of ready orange. So same material, same style, are they the same price? Yep, 13 pounds, size 12. And these are just bright coral colored culottes with the little pleats in. They did have these in kind of like a straight leg cotton version. So they didn't have these little pleats in, but I just kind of knew that they weren't gonna fit me. So I picked up the ones with a bit more stretch in them. And I do like these. As you can see from the cutaway, I have um, black underwear on because that's the only colour underwear I seem to own. So I'm going to have to invest in a pair of nude underwear, as you can see. But still, I'm not as sold on these as I am with the black polka dot ones. You're going to have to let me know. But I do really like the vibes of these. It's very bright, very colourful. You could pair with a black top, a white top, a spotty top, whatever you fancy. Yeah, I like these and they're so comfy. I just... I am gonna end up with way too many pairs of these in my wardrobe, I can already tell. Okay, so this next thing was a bit of a curveball for me and I mean, you can see why I have picked up some white jeans. <laughs> now as one of probably the most clumsy person in the world who always spills her food everywhere, um, probably shouldn't have picked up white jeans but you know what Jess or Copper Garden, I have been inspired by her because I actually saw her and she did a video on like how to style white jeans. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try and be cool. So I picked these up. They're a size 12. They are nine pounds. They're high waist, super skinny stretch jeans. The only thing is they're a bit snug. And this is what annoys me about Primark jeans because I actually have a size 10 pair of jeans from Misguided and they fit perfectly and they're not too snug. In fact, I could probably push going down to an eight. So it just amazes me that in a different shop, a size 12 is so tight. So I'd say size up on these or try them on before you leave the store because I am going to return them. I don't love them, but I don't hate them. I think it's just very different to see myself in white jeans. Let me know what you think. Other than that, they look okay. Obviously, wearing black underwear. Don't do that with white trousers. Wear nude underwear. Um, but I mean, in terms of jeans, they do, they are quite good quality. It's just the size, you know? But to go with those jeans, as you've probably just seen, is this little top. And this reminds me of like, a barbershop quartet, you know, like those men that sing and wear little stripy tops. This reminds me of them. And I saw this and I walked away from it twice. It was one of those things that was kind of luring me in. Um, this one was £10, so it is a little bit more pricey, which I don't understand why. Um, again, size 12. It's, it's all right. Now I've tried it on, it feels really like uncomfortable. It's not stretchy material. This is literally cotton um, and the sleeves are quite tight. Obviously you can adjust them if you want to. But I don't know, I just don't think the shape of this was how I hoped it would be. I much prefer this to be in like a t-shirt material, but I don't know, in terms of like what it looks like, it looks really nice. Maybe it's just me who doesn't suit it, you know, but yeah, I liked the vibe of this, but once I tried it on, I wasn't 100% sold. Maybe with some black jeans or like a high-waisted skirt or something, that would look better. I'll try it on. You guys will have to let me know what you think of this. Okie doke, we're nearly done. We're nearly done guys, I promise. So this next thing I saw as soon as I walked into the store and it is a culotte jumpsuit thing in like a black, white and palm leaf green print. I think this is so pretty. And again, dress up, dress down. I thought kind of like on an evening on holiday, um, and it has like a long belt to cinch it in. This is a 12, again, 15 pounds, but I'm just gonna show you the cutaway. I have the biggest camel toe in this um, outfit and it really annoys me because I really liked this, but again, 
it's kind of saving my bank account so I can't really complain. So if you are quite tall, wouldn't recommend this one, it's it's too short. If you are quite short, I think this would look beautiful on you. I'm very upset that this won't fit. I think if I got the size 14, it'd be too baggy. I'm not sure if it'd get any longer. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna admit defeat and return this. But it is really, really gorgeous for 15 pounds. It's such nice material, feels really, really lovely. But I couldn't zip it up and my tuppy was out. <laughs> I got, and I don't really know why, I got some sliders, not to wear out. I feel like sliders are kind of the marmite of the fashion industry right now. Um, because I see, I see people in these outside and they look like slippers. It really confuses me. So I bought these to wear in the garden. I'm still questioning my decision as to whether it's worth it. I think these were like six pounds, were they? Yeah, six pounds, size six. They are a little bit snug, so I probably would have sized up if I'd have tried them on in the shop, but I couldn't be bothered. Um, and they're just black and furry. They had, did they have white ones? They had pink ones, they had jelly ones. They had every kind of slider you can possibly imagine. So I got them. And then the other pair of shoes I got were six pounds again, and I saw these right as I walked in once again. And these are just kind of white with a cork bottom and then a white rubber bottom. And oh my God, these are so comfortable. I've never really worn sandals like this. I usually prefer sandals that have got quite chunky straps because I'm not the biggest fan of my feet. Um, and these are so comfortable. I actually love them. I love that this is kind of like faux suede. So it feels really nice. You won't slip and slide if your feet get sweaty. Yeah. Really, really good, can't go wrong, for six pounds. Okay, penultimate item, we're getting there. So, this next one, I loved on the hanger. It is, again, a Colotte's jumpsuit, but this time it's a little spaghetti strap one with a V-neck, and then it's just got kind of like, it's not pleated, like ribbed material. Goes all the way down with a little belt. I really, really like this on the hanger. I showed it to my mum as well, and she also loved it. It's a very me color as you can tell. Um, but when I tried it on, I wasn't completely in love. Again, I have black underwear on. Maybe it was just the size or maybe it was because I could see my underwear. I don't really know, but it was £10. Um, I might consider going back and getting a 14, but I'm going to try this on again and have a proper look around in the mirror upstairs and see what I think. But it is beautiful. It is very kind of showy at the top. Like it's quite low at the back and then the v-neck and the little tiny straps, like it does feel quite open, which I'm not used to. So I'd probably have to be quite brave on the day that I wore this. But I think this is absolutely gorgeous. All right, very final thing is a little simple white top thing. Okay, so this is a size 14. I got a 14 because there wasn't a 12, but I really, really liked this. And it's white, like pinstriped. It was eight pounds. And I thought just with my black jeans, I could wear this. I'm really enjoying my high-waisted jeans and like a little crop top. It's got a little knot at the bottom and then you just button it up. And do you know what? Even though it's a 14, I actually quite like it. I feel quite loose and free and like not restricted in it. I put it on with the white jeans, not feeling it. Don't think I suit white jeans, but in terms of the top itself, I do really like it. It's a lovely soft material, nothing too heavy, perfect for summer. Love it a lot. Okay. Oh my God. That was the longest haul I've done in a while. I was just about to end the video, my battery died. Good. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that haul. Again, like I said, there will be a bikini try on haul coming very, very soon. So make sure you're subscribed. Let me know which pieces you like the best, which ones I should keep, which ones I should return. And I'll see you very soon for another video. Bye.